Hold that in there. Oh, shit. Ah. I saw a couple crab pods. they say? Uh, it's an advisory call that they're going to do a live fire exercise and request everybody to kind of stay away, which is funny because you don't actually have to stay away. But I think for your own safety, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> I would assume so. Are we on their way? No. No, no, no. 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. I mean, we're at... Four zero nine. So three four. Uh, each uh, latitude, la latitude, 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 and distance should be sixty miles. So from three three to three four is sixty miles. Okay. So we started at up in uh, San Francisco. I think we were at three seven. And we're down to three four. Oh, there were dolphins right there. Oh, they're right there. Uh, bite. So you, uh, I think you get the winds coming down. They said the other one, the yellow banks, um, doesn't get as much wind coming off of the island. So we'll see. We'll cruise in there. Maybe we'll go straight to yellow banks okay. or we'll go to Smuggler's Cove. We'll see what the other side of the island, what the lead looks like.
We'll get him coming. Uh, we put the dinghy in the water, got the outboard on. It's still a absolute nightmare of uh, acrobatics to get it in and out of the boat and on the dinghy and everything. Um, we are going uh, to go explore just around the corner. I didn't bring shoes, you didn't bring shoes. This is the first time we've been in sun for uh, a couple of months now. So it's good and we're hanging out outside and uh, making sure we don't get sunburned. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're just putting through uh, Yellow Banks Anchorage. Um, and we're gonna go around the corner to Smuggler's Cove. We have a neighbor. Yeah, we have a couple of neighbors. We'll probably have more neighbors, I'm sure. But yeah, uh, I'm pretty stoked on where we anchored. We went kind of tucked up uh, from the northwest winds, and then um, we uh, parked in front of a kelp bed, and then we backed down on the anchor twice. Twice. Yeah, because the first one let us go to 1500, and then at, uh, at uh, 2000 RPM it started to slip, and then we dropped another 50 feet of chain, and then we uh, backed down to 2000 and we held. We're good, we can stay. In most most conditions, we can stay. If not, we gotta run! Look at the water, can you see the color difference in the water? Yeah. Like, wait till this wave goes by and you see the blue. Look at that. It's beautiful here. Yeah, it's uh, pretty killer. The beach looks very rocky. Yeah, we're not going all the way in there. I want to see what it is. Is this kelp and that's sand, or is this sand and that's kelp? Which is definitely not right. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's just uh, sediment in the water. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's got to be like some, uh, maybe like some kind of calcium or something. Not that <laughs> Oh, very cool. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's what this color is. And then out here is the blue. Well, like green. What are you guys doing? Exploring. We're explorers. We're explorers. Dora the Explorers. National Geographic. Yeah, we already got asked once. Nat Geo. Nat Geo didn't ask us. <laughs> <laughs> We're like the, uh, we're the Jerry's kids of, uh, Nat Geo. That's a steep beach. Oh, there are the pelicans. I'm gonna go fast around this kelp bed. Okay. Oh! Oh, maybe not. One more, one more. Here we go. Through here. There we go. 
we go. Woo! Chili in the wind. Yeah. Chili in the wind. We're almost there. We're not going to play. Yeah, it's going to go. They blow, which whether it blow, they don't blow. They, I guess they blow. Wonder what kind of kelp they are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're really big. Look at them. Something about King Kelp being 100 feet, but it's not 100 feet here. Maybe 30. Gale force action here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy back here, uh, he doesn't seem to have a motor. Uh, he's just tacking back and forth outside the anchorage. Probably uh, if his motor's done, then uh, he's waiting, waiting for the gale to subside. So we have 200 feet of chain out. We dug our anchor in a little. Well, we didn't dig it in a little. We brought it all the way back to 2000, but we're probably slipping a little bit, I think, because we were not in the kale or in the uh, in the kelp earlier. So we'll see what happens here. We'll see if we need to uh, come up and re-anchor. Uh, if we drag uh, too much more, I think we're dug in, but we've definitely slipped. Back. There's my marker over there. Uh, right at the tip, there's a rock. And my other marker is uh, straight out there. Right there on that point. Uh, it doesn't look like we've come back, but we've come back since uh, earlier. But that might just be our. Settled into dinner, the predicted gale force winds came through the anchorage. Although we believed that we had properly set the anchor, we began to drag and had to re-anchor. The sailboat that is seen tried to drop but was unable to hold. They ended up drifting into the channel and requested assistance from the Coast Guard for a tow back to the mainland.
Thank you for watching. Join us on the next episode as we explore Catalina Island. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Ciao, ciao.